couple more. Dude, I can't believe it. Like, monster bag of food for a monster fish. It's pretty sweet. And it's a beautiful, happy, and healthy magical pond. And what's cool is there is an actual myth. And the myth is if you actually throw in a nickel into this pond right here in a spot where you can actually get it back, a wish will come true. Alrighty guys, here you go. Here's the wish. I hope my wish came true. Is anything in here? Oh, 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 oh what gosh. is that? Joey Slam. What up, Slayers? And we're here at Catchamall's Pond. And what's really cool about Catchamall's Pond is that it's magical. There's mollies here. There's a whole glowfish army, which is absolutely gorgeous. Look at them go. And there's a whole bunch of beautiful koi. The koi I caught years ago. The koi I helped him catch. There's so many things here. And it's a beautiful, happy, and healthy magical pond. And what's cool is there is an actual myth. And the myth is if you actually throw in a nickel into this pond right here in a spot where you can actually get it back a wish will come true so I'm gonna go ahead and wish for something specific hold on one second guys alrighty guys here you go here's the wish I hope my wish came true what <gasps> you wish for me? yes I did hello, hello my baby Hi. how you doing I miss you so much give me a kiss, give me a kiss. Too. guys she's finally back Hi, guys. It's only taking her 40 days, 40 I nights, know. everything. Wait. Where have you been, my women? Uh, grad school. Duh, hello. You guys out here saying all those things in the comments. Let them know. I was getting educated, guys. Getting educated. But it's okay. Now it's time to get fish educated because we're over here at Catchamall's Pond. Oh. And I made that wish and it came true. And look at you. Mm. Oh, yes. Hello. Oh. How's it going? Mm. Oh, come, 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 come. Yes, yes. <laughs> Alright, cool. You know what? Let's go ahead and look at the Grand Pond first before we continue on what's going on today. Let's. So, I think it's appropriate to say, welcome back to another Slay Venture. And now that Lily's behind the camera, show yourself, my way. Hi. Hello. She is back. And we're going to have some fun together feeding Catchamore's Pond because Catchamore is actually at Swamp People. Isn't Louisiana making another fire season with them guys if you guys aren't watching swamp people when zach's in it it is absolutely insane it's a blast so come on i'm gonna go ahead and help his family and everything like that with feeding the fish uh other youtubers too we're all a big family down here so come on and check on the fish look what's going on here guys i don't know if you guys can see we have an oscar beautiful big peacock big very chunky erjuana then we have the beautiful albino tilapias the giant King Paku. I can't believe how big that thing is. Huge. Look how big is the one that Kelly caught. Literally, those two are like Kelly and Zach's. It's kind of cool, like King and Queen. Then we have some that used to be our pets. And everything's getting very, very chunky. Not like me anymore. That's right, I'm losing the weight. The jacket might be coming off <laughs> soon, but today stays on. I gotta show you the reveal later. Only me gets to see that one. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we have another beautiful arowana here. Woo! That's the one I went ahead and gave to him some while back. Unfortunately, let's take a moment. Silence to the albino arowana that fell out. Every time, arowanas always fall out. So, before I even continue, let's go ahead and take a look. This is the massive red-tailed catfish that Zach went ahead and saved. He took this red-tailed catfish to a vet, gave it some dog shots, and boom. Stud. It's alive and well. Isn't that crazy, Lily? They're huge. Massive. They're straight gorgeous. giants. I can't wait to see our fish that big. So, let's go ahead and feed these guys right now. Come on, baby. Let me open this thing. There you go. There you go. Get some nice koi vibrance. Let's see what happens here. Tilapia, Oscar, Jags, Slam, and the one. Ooh. Oh my god. Tilapia again. Everything's getting big. Here you go, Paku. Oh yeah. Just feeding them just a little bit. Not too much, because um, Mama Catchum is going to go ahead and feed them later some tilapia and stuff like that so this is just like a little appetizer before the main course that's happening and you know what happens fortunately they eat tilapia so yes tilapia eat tilapia everything eats tilapia but those are farm rate tilapia so let's have some more fun but the real reason i'm here guys is because like i said that pond over there is absolutely magical i think monsters are starting to come up right that now. just scared me. did you hear that yeah dude a couple more dude i can't believe it like monster bag of food for a monster fish it's pretty sweet look at this giant it's eating on the surface 
Look how big this thing is. Look, 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 look. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh I my gosh. Like even though Paku are very evil in tanks and ponds because you can't keep them with a lot of things, when you have all the space, everything's possible. But this is really sick. That's right, cool. Lily? It's so cool. Nice to see some big fish now since you got back, right? Yeah. Alrighty. So I'm gonna continue throwing a little bit more food here. That should be enough for now until later. Now, like I was saying, guys, before I was really interrupted by some awesome fish, the catch em -walls pond is very magical. It makes dreams come true as well as there's some two special things that he went ahead and found, rescued them, and actually placed them in the pond for us to pick up and take care of while he's gone. I'm not sure how long we're gonna be looking at these things, but they're magical, they're rainbow. It's just insane. Come, let's go, let me go ahead and show you. All right, Slayers, so as you can see, we have the magical pond that make dreams and wishes come true here at Catch a Moss Place. Now we have a big old container, and you know what happens with big containers? It's time to go ahead and transport some things, but we have to go ahead and find what we're trying to transport. So if you look below, nothing's here. You have a whole bunch of glowfish, which I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm pointing at them right there. That's the glowfish squad out there. The glow squad, I'm not sure, the glow gang, whatever you want to name them. And then you have the big koi's in the back. If you want to walk over here real quick, we can go ahead and see them. I'm not going to feed them because if the fish that we're looking for are inside here, then I don't want everything to get stored up. <gasps> Look who that is. I don't oh know if you know God. who that is. It's Big, big Juan. Juan. It is Big Juan. That's so cool. I love how all the fish that we have together keep going back and forth with each other. So, and I think I just found them. Come check it out. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see, but what's going on here? Hello? Yeah. Housekeeping? Look at this. Oh my Do you gosh. see that? What see is it. that? I don't know. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm not too sure. Oh, 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 oh what gosh. is that? Oh my gosh. And it just went into hide into the shadows. Look, there's more. <gasps> oh my gosh. There's two. They're beautiful. They're huge. They're monsters. Well, luckily, I have the perfect place for them. So let's go ahead, get some water from Catchamaw's Pond because it's nice, nutrient, healthy. That's what they've been in for a very, very long time. And then we're transporting them soon. But I'm going to show you guys what they look like. Dude, they're massive, Lily. Huge. Are you okay, Lily? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I almost died. But I'm All right, good. it's funny. All right, let's go ahead and get some water right now. So I have my big pump, how I gather most of my water. And I got to spin uh, myself. Are you okay? I'm, I'm working on it. All right. Oh my God. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. <laughs> so I have all these hoes to go ahead and get everything out. Oh. Well, well that went nicely. It didn't really work out. It's okay. We just go ahead and attach this real quick again. But I have like 75 feet of hose, which is going to be perfect for what we're trying to do today. And that is fill up this container completely. And I, I'll grab as much water as I can for these fish. All right. So now we got to get an extension cord, get it all set up, and get this water going. Gotta find the cleanest spot where we're not gonna get any algae or anything like that. What do you think is the cleanest spot, Lily? Point to me. See? Uh, probably like right over here. Right over there. Right over there in the Kakapu <laughs> Okay. But I wanna get this nice flowing, constant water coming through. Is this rock safe? Alright. Gotta just lay this down in there. Hold. Perfect. Perfect. Now we just gotta plug it in and get some water. Okay. All right. You know what that means? Cars on, trucks on, and the hose is coming out. And water should be flowing in any second. Here, I'll take you guys up there with me. Come on, come on. Are you coming, Lily, or am I taking you guys by myself? All right, I'm taking you myself. We got water. Sweet freaking deal. So we're going to go ahead and pump this whole thing up until I get about 350 gallons and we shall be back and ready for the sleigh. Woo. I mean, the capture or, or something. I don't know. But woo! Slayers, it's really imperative that you have a truck when it comes to taking care of all these monster fish. I mean, all of us have a truck. Guys, in the comments below, comment and tag Wild World of Farley to get a truck. He's missing out on all these awesome perks that you have with a truck. But while we wait, we're gonna go ahead and pump all this water that we need. But while we wait, let's go ahead and take a look at our brand new little pets here. They're so mystical. You know, you can't even see them. It's like there's nothing here and then you just see a fin. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. 
Like, oh my god, the, the rocks are so toasty. Ah, hot, hot rocks. God, I almost slipped. Hot, hot rocks. Hello? Is anything in here? Look. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh. That thing's a stud. I don't know how we're going to get these things out. I just want to see them. Hello? Anyone? They're like ninja. They look like a type of gobi. The way they're sitting and everything like that. That's so cool. It's so neat. Oh, hello? Anyone? Can't even see him. Is that this? Oh, it's them. It's this. Ow, ow! Look at this. They're oh so gosh. big. Just stay right there so we can see you. Bro, that's so neat. Wow. Can you guys see him? Oh, yeah. Bro, oh, I can only imagine what kind of fish these things are. Look at them sit. So cool. Oh, I think I have some driftwood and everything at home too that we can go ahead and add to the enclosure so they can do that. But they're gonna be in a bigger home than this little area right here. This has like this is the strongest part of the pond because it's constantly getting fresh water and everything. So it's pretty cool that he put them in here. So so yeah, what a nice little surprise for catch more fishing. I know he, he told me he saved them, but I didn't see them. He says they're just a mystical creature inside my pond. So. <laughs> It kind of worked out. This is so mystical. You would never know there's fish inside of this area right now. <laughs> They're hiding right here on the little lips of this pond. Look at that thing. Neat. All right, I think we're almost done. So once we finish up, we'll be able to scoop these puppies out. Stay tuned for scenes from the next episode of Joey Slam Z. Oh.